Oh, I can't believe it just feels like yesterday I was home over the holidays just being in my PJs all day and giving my kids gifts and here we are. But Mrs. De La Maza, I'm a student guidance counselor. If you need wellness, you need to see Mrs. Ciabaldi. Wait, I thought all counselors are the same. Mm, no. I help students get into college. Mrs. Ciavaldi helps you feel better and feel happy. But her room was closed. Fair enough. Hello, counseling. This is Mr. Novak. Mm hmm. That's today? Right now? Today, you need to get into the studio right now. Uh, okay. We gotta get down to Heart TV. We have some filming to do. Now what are we waiting for? I think so. I mean, the teleprompter thing is scrolling, so that must mean something. Alrighty then. Well, good morning, Heart High. I am Mrs. Delamaza. And I'm Mr. Novak, your student guidance counselor. Oh, please. You give students advice. Why can't I get a little free counseling, too? Use the internet. It's not the same thing, though. Whatever. Today is Tuesday, January 30th. And what are we celebrating today, Mr. Novak? Today is just an ordinary day, Mrs. De La Maza. It happens sometimes. I guess that means less work for us, right? Oh, we are going to have to do some work after this. Trust me. Come on, one day of free counseling? Nice try. I don't think so. <laughs> Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's time for some Heart Sports Center. Hey, Hart. Greetings, program. Hey, we're going to get right into it. Sports Center this week. Yep. Uh, going straight into boys basketball after what had been kind of a rough couple of weeks. They bounced back with a couple of nice wins. Uh, Wednesday night against Hillcrest Christian was a terrific game. Nice. And then played great against Castaic on Friday night. Friday night, got to keep it going. Uh, you know, we got the NBA team on uh, uh, tonight. And then uh, big one against Kangan on Friday. Really need that one. Good luck, boys. That's right. Girls basketball has been playing great. Has been off the charts good. We just keep winning, winning, winning. Huge win. Uh, against Castaic on Friday night. Big one tonight against West Ranch. We've already clinched a uh, share of the league title. Wow. Win tonight and we get it outright. And then we get Canyon again for a chance to hopefully be playing for an undefeated league title. Amazing. Got to win a couple. Yeah. Leads Keep it going, going, girls. Leads yeah. us right into the athlete of the week from the girls basketball team, Arlie Eve. She has been on varsity for four years, been a three year starter. Kid is awesome in the weight room. She is the court leader, the field general, whatever you want to call right. it. She's getting it done. Coach Coach Mike says she's an elite defender, as good as pretty much anybody in the league. Gets it done every week, works her tail off. Keep going, Arlie. Congratulations. And way to go. And and hey, soccer, you guys, you guys killed it. I mean, you guys are our league champions, uh, girls and boys, and we're looking forward to CIF. I mean, that's basically the next step. Uh, CIF playoffs are, are around the corner and stay tuned the next program I'll tell you all about where to be and uh, come at, come out and support them all right with that we have recently hired a new head football coach here his name is Jake Goosen Brown we got an interview with him here it is here you go hey Hart I'm here at the boys locker room to interview the new football coach how long have you been in this profession 
coaching football. I think this is going to be my 19th season coaching football. Have you coached for any other school? All right, I started coaching at Notre Dame High School. I spent 12 years there. Um, that's where I played football as well. Uh, then I went and did a year at uh, St. Genevieve High School. And then I went up north and did three years at Morro Bay High School. Uh, that's where I took a team in three years and turned them around. We won the CIF Championship. We won the Southern Regional Championship. We lost in the state game. And then I went back to Notre Dame for a year. And then I went to Wainimi for one year. And now I'm here at Hart for hopefully 40 years. What made you want to coach at Hart? You know, Hart is a historically great football program. They've won nine CIF championships. They've appeared in five other ones. So they've had 14 total appearances in, the, in a CIF final game, right? Everybody knows Hart, right? We just had a UCLA coach in here, and he was telling stories about the old Hart quarterbacks and saying all these names of these guys that have graduated from this place. So we know it's such a great place to be at. And this is where I've wanted to be as a school like Hart, where football, you know, is important. Football is something that people talk about, you know, with respect. And I feel like I've worked all those jobs I told you about. I think they all led me to here. What's your favorite part about being a coach? You know, to me, it's really some of the favorite things or the, my favorite memories are when these kids find success in the future, right? And if they want to stay in contact with you and you build a relationship with them where they, you know, want to tell you about things they're doing now. Um, you know, I had a kid, even if it's not football related, kid just texted me when he became a sheriff. You know, he wanted to let me know that he, he made it through that and he's a sheriff or you know they graduate college or they do things professionally in sports and stuff too it's important but it's just building relationships where they want to come back I have kids that I've coached I want to come back and coach with me you know and I think those are that's the important stuff you know that's where in the end you you really make a difference you know? what do you love the most about this sport it's the greatest sport ever played it's the greatest sport ever invented right it's awesome um, you know look at how many people are out here watching it all the time you know it's uh, high impact it's really competitive it's a fast-paced moving sport um, you know, and there's what's so great about it too is that there's so many different types of people or body types or, you know, socioeconomic things that they come together for a common goal, right? Where else do you have guys that are like linemen, right? That are big, 6'4", you know, 280 pound, 270 pound guys, as well as guys that are fast and skinny and, you know, guys of different races and, and, and everything. It's one of the greatest sports ever because it really combines a lot of different aspects of life. That's it with Coach Goose. I'm Sean, back to you guys in the studio. And now, the news. JV and Varsity Girls Soccer take on West Ranch. All games are at heart. JV plays at 5, and the Varsity Girls have their senior night at 3.15. Frost Girls Soccer go up against Saugus right here at Hart tonight at 6.30. Boys Soccer versus West Ranch. All games are at West Ranch. Frost play at 6.30, JV at 5, and the Varsity game starts at 3.15. Girls Basketball also go up against West Ranch. All games are at West Ranch. Frost play at 6.30, JV at 3.30, and the varsity game starts at 5 o'clock. Boys basketball takes on West Ranch as well. All games are at West Ranch. Frosh plays at 5 o'clock, JV at 3.30, and the varsity game starts at 6.30. Congratulations to our Hart Sports Med team who have once again taken first place at the 7th annual COC Sports Medicine Competition. This marks our third year in a row being crowned the best sports medicine program in all of SCV. Our students displayed their knowledge, skill, and creativity in a handful of events. Julia Lecrevin took the crown as the fastest ankle taper with a blazing time of 38 seconds. Great job, Julia! Congratulations to Owen Rusk and Alan Alvarez Conde from our speech and debate team. Owen took fifth place in Varsity Congress on Saturday at La Reina high school. And Allen took the award for best debate legislation. Great job. Would you like to see your work published in Hart's third annual literary magazine, The Mosaic? We are accepting submissions from all students in the following categories. Poetry, prose, fiction, prose, nonfiction, drama, art, and photography. This year's literary magazine will center around the topics students are passionate about. What are you passionate about? Please scan this QR code to submit your original, edited, and revised work via Google Forms. Submissions are due no later than Friday, March 1st, by the end of the school day. See Mrs. Mosin and room F31 if you have any questions. Library nights will resume next Tuesday, February 6th, and it will be held every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. Please remember, the following rules apply. 
Students must bring in their school ID to check in. Students will have access to a Chromebook. Students must bring homework to work on and no cell phones should be visible. Students must be in school dress code at all times. Clubs. Amigos Unidos meets today during lunch in room E4. Star Wars Club meets today at lunch and F11. The force is with us, so come and join. The Robotics Club meets today at lunch in room C2 and after school from 3 to 5 p.m. Here is Ms. Ross with today's quote of the day. The soul always knows what to do to heal itself. The challenge is to silence the mind. Caroline Mize. Well, that's it for our show. We hope you enjoyed watching this show as much as we enjoyed making it. So, what about next month's teacher takeover? Who are we going to call out? Well, I think Mrs. Diana Byrne would make an excellent TV anchor. Nice choice. I'm going to call on Miss Kristen Ramirez to be my replacement next month. I can't wait to see that show. Everyone out there in Heart TV land, you all have a fantastic Tuesday. And, and stay, stay classy, classy heart. heart. Hey, baby, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Quite stylish. And maybe I seem a bit confused. Yeah, maybe, but I got your pegs. Ha, 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 ha. But I don't know what to do with those tossed salads and scrambled eggs. They're calling again. Scrambled eggs all over my face. What is a boy to do? Frazier has.